Throughout history, the lives of kings and rulers have often been filled with luxury, power, and privilege. Yet, for some ancient kings, the allure of danger and the thrill of risk were irresistible. These rulers engaged in perilous games, not just as a display of courage, but as a means to assert their dominance, entertain their courts, and sometimes even decide matters of life and death. These games were more than mere sport. They were tests of bravery, cunning, and often sheer brutality, where the stakes could be nothing less than one's life. The Persian game of polo, a royal death match. Polo, known as the sport of kings, has its roots in ancient Persia, where it was far more than a leisurely pastime. For Persian kings, polo was a rigorous and deadly game played on horseback, often involving teams of hundreds. The intensity of these matches was not just in their physicality, but in their political undertones. Victories and losses on the polo field could alter the king's favor, leading to promotions, punishments, or even executions. Horses would gallop at full speed, with players wielding mallets to strike a wooden ball. Sometimes, these balls were replaced with the heads of executed enemies, a stark reminder of the game's lethal consequences. Gladiatorial Games of Rome Blood Sport as a Spectacle In ancient Rome, gladiatorial games were the epitome of perilous entertainment, orchestrated by emperors to display their power and sate the bloodlust of the populace. These games were not mere duels, but orchestrated battles involving slaves, prisoners of war, and sometimes even free men seeking fame. Emperors such as Commodus would personally enter the arena, risking their lives to prove their martial prowess. While their opponents were often armed with blunt weapons, accidents and fatalities were common, demonstrating the emperor's willingness to face death, a calculated gamble that bolstered their reputation as fearless leaders. Bull leaping in Minoan Crete, a dance with death. In Minoan Crete, a unique and dangerous ritual known as bull leaping was performed, possibly as a religious or royal spectacle. Young men and women would leap over charging bulls, grabbing their horns to flip over their backs in a dangerous display of agility and bravery. This practice was fraught with danger, as one misstep could lead to being gored by the bull's horns or trampled underfoot. For Minoan kings, sponsoring and sometimes participating in bull leaping was a demonstration of divine favor and control over nature's fiercest beasts. The game was as much about the king's courage as it was about his subject's willingness to face death in his name. The Mayan ball game, a deadly court ritual. Among the ancient Maya, the ball game, known as pits, was more than a sport. It was a deadly ritual deeply intertwined with religion and politics. Played with a rubber ball, the game took place in grand stone courts, where players aimed to pass the ball through stone hoops without using their hands. The game symbolized the cosmic struggle between life and death, and losing teams, or sometimes the losing captains, were sacrificed to the gods. Kings and nobles, seen as intermediaries between the gods and the people, often participated in these games risking their lives to ensure the favor of the deities. The outcome of a match could determine the fate of an entire city, demonstrating the king's power over life, death, and the divine. Jousting tournaments in medieval Europe. The Knights Gamble. In medieval Europe, jousting tournaments were not only a popular form of entertainment, but also a dangerous sport for knights and kings alike. Mounted on armored horses and wielding heavy lances, participants would charge at each other in a test of strength and skill. For kings, participating in jousts was a way to prove their valor and solidify their status as warrior leaders. Yet the risks were immense. Falls, broken bones, and even death were common occurrences. King Henry II of France famously died from a jousting wound illustrating the lethal nature of this noble pastime. The tournament grounds were places where honor and bravery were demonstrated, 
but also where the fragility of life was starkly exposed. Hunting Games – The King's Pursuit of Danger For many ancient kings, the hunt was a sacred duty, a symbol of their dominion over the natural world. Royal hunting expeditions were grand affairs, often involving large parties, trained animals, and exotic prey. However, these hunts were far from safe. They were dangerous games that tested the king's skill and courage. In ancient Assyria, kings hunted lions, seeing them as the ultimate test of bravery. The Egyptian pharaohs hunted hippos, considered chaotic and dangerous beasts. For these kings, the hunt was not just about the kill. It was a demonstration of their power over the forces of nature and their right to rule. The dangers of the hunt, being mauled, gored, or trampled, only heightened the thrill and the demonstration of kingly valor. The dangerous games played by ancient kings were more than mere entertainment. They were a profound expression of the human desire to confront danger and conquer it. These games were acts of courage, demonstrations of power, and rituals of control over life and death. In risking their lives, these kings sought to transcend the ordinary, to achieve a form of immortality through their daring and bravery. The legacy of these perilous pastimes endures, a testament to the timeless allure of danger and the eternal quest for glory.